What is that? Survival, I am at the ready. Survival, my scout voice. Can't wait to see where we end up. Oh, it does walk about. <gasps> Follows you about. Whoa, the airship. The steampunk cosmetics. Clocks on the ruins. Rewinds. New forges. Whoa. Goggle box. Rock tree. It does fly. What? Oh, there she is. Yoling, healing. What's this? Okay, so what does it do? There's the Cosmo. We're gonna, we're gonna inject it with something. Oh. And we're swinging. Oh, oh no. Oh, the Spider-Man swinging his guts. Glob it and drop it. Oh, but glob it all. Paintball mode. What? We can do Batman signals. Yes! Perfect sense to automate protective ah. tasks, unless you're the automaton. Ah! Automaton, this bro! What the fuck? Oh! Oh, there's so much going on! Explosions in your face! You can name so, Shrap Reapers! So, your goggles, refuel your robots, and get ready to cave dive right back into... Oh! What? Oh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. WTF is exactly my thoughts. Is this a blueprint maker? This is an absolutely incredible trailer, by the way. Well done to Deaths and Cuda, I'm guessing, who made this. Or is it simply a skin for the fabricator? And it pulls back, and then we get greeted to Survivor Mate. Survivor Mate, which is a walking, talking robot that does follow you around and is able to apparently fix things for you. You get to have a little chat with him. We get a little walk on. Out into, oh, look, oh, man, just, just dial it back a second there. Look at this cosmetic skin set, dude. Oh, this is the best one yet. It, it beats the Wild West one hands down. And then we go and venture into the world of steampunk. And look, I mean, look at that, that shot right there. Just breathe it in, man. Blimps are flying about. Are flying about. Holy crap. That just looks amazing. Well done. And I imagine GG Fizz led this up. Turning spinning clocks to tell the time, which is, do you know what? It's, it's such a massive thing for us. Well, obviously, Aberration has a time cycle where it's like 50% day or 50% night, and then 90% day and 10% night, and it, it reverses that. So that, that's going to be so handy. Like, you know, you're out and about, you look up at the clock. Ah! It's surface drop time. I love it. That's amazing. And we're not even looking like really looking at aberration right now. I don't know what the hell this is. It's a forge, right? This is a new forge. This has got to be a new indie forge. This is like the top piece of it, I think. Maybe. And there we go. And then the ingots come out the bottom. <gasps> oh, you dirt. Oh, that is cool. And then we come over to this shot here. And we can see a uh, rock drake with the steampunk skin set. Survivor mate over there. Bunch of different skins. It does make the price worth it. It does when you think, consider it's the Scorched Earth content on top and whatever we get with Extinction. You know what? This is the best one. This this has blown the Scorched Earth DLC out the water. And that, holy crap, it does fly. I am amazed. I am amazed. And I'm just curious how the hell this is going to be balanced for PvP. Uh, aberration in the background. We see the Yiling, of course. There it is in all its glory. We get a good scale of size doing a little flap dance and then it flies over, glides over, does a little like jump and glide, doesn't it? Over a basilisk there. Basilisk looking amazing. I mean, that is, that's the portal area, right? Dude, look at the portal area. ASC, they never glowed, did they? Or did they have a hint of a glow? I, know, I, I thought they were, they were completely dormant until you did, of course, Ascension. And now they seem to at least emit maybe a faint glow that will, will of course, brighten up when you beat Aberration. So that's pretty cool. Wow. And then we go into the Cosmo, swinging around on its own. Looks like this new gun you get, or syringe, or whatever it is, might be related to taming it. Seems like it is, yeah. Um, that's my guess then. I was wondering what the gun was all about. It looked like, we well, can see an image of your Cosmo on there, but why is it an image of a Cosmo? Could you change that image to perhaps something else? And then it's got like some like goggle, the binoculars effect. There we go. Pushes into the face. And then we get to see, we've got a new, a new spyglass, right? Like it seems like with, it feels a bit similar to the spyglass in Atlas, you know, with the bearings there on the right, or, or some form of bearings there. 
Maybe it's a creature finder. Maybe it is a creature finder. Maybe it doesn't tame it at all. It just tells you what it is and gives drops, brings up a symbol of that creature. That's really cool if that's the case. A creature finder. <gasps> what the hell? So we can see them using it on the Cosmo here. And it, Cosmo looks adorable. Seems to emit a red glow. And there it is on your arm as... I mean, let's just play this for a second. That is gonna be fun, dude. So you can shoot that at the floor and then you can use that as a jump pad to like jump in the air. So you've got this combined with the swinging, combined with the glider suit. Mate, mate, like on foot traveling is gonna be amazing, man. Amazing. And then it just rapid fires. To I'm guessing squashes people, like sticks them in place, gets them all glubbed up, can't move. And then we got this, man. Everyone at the same time gone. Oh, yeah, it's gotta be done! It's gotta be done! Perfect sense. So we got this thing repairing your gas bags, gas collector. And then this thing! I don't know what the hell this is. Some Tesla system. And then Rockwell is upon us! It's coming! Amazing, amazing. What are all these things? We saw the trailer and we stopped looking. So Cosmo, a web-slinging shoulder pet known for getting survivors out of a tight spot with its threat sense, organic grappling, web-slinging and shooting abilities. Wondering if there's ammo there. A survivor mate, trusty robot, voiced by Alan. Oh, Alan to duck, who voices the pirate in uh, the Arc Animated series and is a pirate in Dodgeball. Did you know this? There you do. Alan to duck who can automate uh, various chores such as organizing items, repairing structures and harvesting resource. Hot, hot, hot. The new vehicle, the Zeppelin. That's what the blimp's called. The Zeppelin, a large derigable. <laughs> what? What is that word? With a platform to create mobile air bases. Uh, the gene scanner, right? A utility item for players with multiple functions, including detecting specific creatures interacting with the gene infusion system <gasps> extracting traits applying infusions to baby creep <gasps> and do you, do you know what this means do you know what this means traits which means creatures can get like if anybody's watched my duck series creatures and they're gonna have traits they're gonna have abilities within themselves that you can extract and apply to baby creatures <gasps> that's mega this is game changing! And harvesting embryos from pregnant creatures. What? Holy crap! This 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 will change Ark forever. That I, I'm gonna I just let's just process that for a second. Like, yeah, it's it's essentially like ducks. The fires inca incapacitating and bouncy blobs of organic goo <laughs> that you can bounce off and does incapacitate people. And yeah, you can get a stopwatch as well as the clock. A handheld time traveling? What? <laughs> What? You can time travel now? What? That wasn't in the trailer, right? Okay, uh, we got obviously the clock that we saw, an embryo incubator, an incubator specifically for embryos with gene scanner compatibility for extracting the, the, the embryos from non-egg laying creatures. Whoa, like my mind's getting blown, man. So essentially you're gonna be able to pull out embryos, extracting the embryos, so you can get an embryo from things that can't breathe like basilisks. Gene storage, a, stru a structure for storing and applying traits to tames, allowing players to enhance their creatures with up to five abilities collected from... So you can stack up these these five traits. Dude, this is like ducks. This is ducks, man. Um, and you can, it, can, it looks like you can stack up to five traits to your creatures. It, it's it, yeah, ducks, man. It's, it's the ducks thing. Uh, an industrial preserving bin? Wow. A larger gasoline powered upgrade to the preserving bin uh, designed for fabricated level efficiency. Library storage, a storage structure for blueprints and notes, allowing all allied inventories within a certain radius to access and use the stored blueprints. <gasps> oh, that's cool, man. So you, you're going to have wireless blueprint, blueprint crafting. Wireless blueprint crafting. Damn, more lights and lamps that you know we got with, with the last uh, bubs on Scorched Earth, but more different ones here. A omnidirectional Victorian style light for various placements. A tabletop plasma ball lamp for added, added aesthetic flair. A link storage box, a storage box that shares its inventory with other linked storage boxes. 
Mate, X Plus is here, man. Like, so that's the thing in S Plus that you can just move a storage box from one to another. So you can have a storage box up on the surface that you're putting all your loot in, and then the storage box back at your base that you can send it to. Is that is that how I'm reasoning it? I think it is. A tech level forge. Tech forge! So that's what it was! A tech forge! Woo! Do we do we unlock it? Is it a tech gram though? That's the question, right? Spotlights, the Batman signal. Everyone, I, I'm gonna see, we're gonna see so many Batman signals in operation now. And it is, yeah, a Tesla coil, a defensive structure that shoots arcing electricity, chaining shots to nearby enemies with the multiple arc type settings. <gasps> oh, like that thing, like in PvP, bro. You just like surround that thing around your base. Like, get out of my swamp. Tinkering desk, a structure for combining existing item blueprints for a chance to create higher quality versions or downgrade them. <gasps> we've, got, well, we, we've got an upgrade, bench. You're joking. A structure for combining existing item blueprints for a chance, for a chance. Oh, so it's like the Heliocorporean. So it's like the Heliocorporean, but instead of, instead of destroying them, you're gonna possibly downgrade them, but you might get higher quality blueprints. New structure cosmetic skin set, steampunk structure tile skin set, Steampunk structure skins. So we get this, the tile set uh, for furniture, structures, table, chair, and bench. And then ceilings, doors, walls, floors uh, for your steampunk stuff, which we've seen looks amazing. 15 new character cosmetics, hat, shirt, pants, gloves, and boots, a dapper outfit set, an engineer set, a beret hat, a boater hat, a cyclist hat, a steampunk hat and goggles, a steampunk goggle skin, and a saddle cosmetic for the rock drake. Wow! 5,000 of you beautiful people are watching right now! Watching me, watching you, watching what's arguably a very game-changing moment in the world of Ark. If you don't know, traits are here. Dino traits, which is mega. We can go back in time. We can swing like Spider-Man. We can do big spotlights and call for Batman. We are into a new era of Ark, right here, from this moment onwards, Ark will never be the same again. And don't forget about the steampunk train too, that's a thing. 